Good morning, Magandan, Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Uh, as you can see, uh, the workday has started. I don't know if you can see the workday has started. The workday has started. Uh, our workers are out there doing their thing. I'm here doing my thing, which is my regular uh, on uh, my mornings. I get up, I get started, I take the dogs for a walk now, and uh, uh, we have some breakfast. And what I try to do is I try to answer some of the comments on the, on the channel here, uh, as many as I possibly can that have questions about it. Again, you know, I thank everybody for all the comments that we get on a day-to-day -day basis. And there are many, many wonderful comments here. Uh, that I get to read every single day. Uh, I don't answer, like I said, I don't answer every single one of them, but if there's a specific question that you have uh, concerning building or anything that I have to do with the Philippines, I try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, so today, today remember, we have the Stone 2000 people coming. Uh, the Stone 2000 people are going to install the El Dorado uh, stonework, the Chapel Hill specifically, on our uh, uh, great room wall inside. So what I asked first thing this morning, I said priority number one is yesterday they were supposed to fill in. Here, we'll take a walk over there, we'll take a look. Yesterday, they were supposed to fill in this area to the side, uh, that hole right there that uh, has the pipes going through, that was supposed to be filled in with some mortar mix inside there so that they can apply the stonework on top of it. Well, it didn't get done yesterday. So uh, for, I looked at it this morning, I'm like, oh, we have to get that done immediately. So that's, that is supposed to be the first priority of the day, along with everything else. Uh, some more of our, our team, uh, they're back from Bicol, uh, uh, specifically Ading over here. And Ading is gonna be patching our hole up right now so that we're in preparation for our uh, stonework to be started, uh, hopefully early this morning. Uh, also today, uh, we have some visitors uh, from the San Francisco Bay Area, and they will be arriving around lunchtime. So, so the visitors continue. Uh, well, anyway, let's go ahead and get today started uh, so, uh, so that we can watch what's going on here at Villa Feliz. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. As you can see, our installation team from Kelly is here this morning for, I think this is day three of installation. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna be accomplished today, uh, but I just wanna make sure that one of the things that we have here, we have a little bit of a get. We, we couldn't get a full size quartz countertop that goes all the way from this end to this end because this is pre-manufactured uh, in China. And they ship it in a shipping container and for some reason, uh, the length of this exceeds uh, their ability to make it into one piece. Everything, I thought everything was one piece. The island is all gonna be one piece, but somehow this, the countertop, ended up being two piece. And we have a, uh, it's an imperfection here in the, uh, you see we have a gap. It's too tight here. So you're gonna, you're gonna adjust this, right? Is that, they're gonna, they're, they said they are gonna make this perfect so that you do not see this gap inside here. And they've been doing an awesome job here with everything else. And I, I feel assured that that's going to come out perfectly as well. Uh, and it will be transparent at that point. Um, so we're going to focus also on some of the other construction that's going on here this morning. And I'm going to take advantage of time to, uh, to do some. I have not caught up with emails or, uh, or any of my administrative tasks. I'm going to be working on that in the background as well. You can see we are finally getting back to working on the stairway over here, the floating stairs. So as soon as they get everything leveled and everything is appropriate for that, I think they'll do the, the back fill in for all the gaps. As you see right inside of here on each one of the steps, uh, that will get finished. Then the steps will get finished. Then the steps will be uh, adjusted for the, the trim, for the width. 
and then we can start working on the, the rail work that goes inside there. Eventually it will get done. I, I just want to make sure that we get our bathtub from the basement up somewhere sitting up on the second floor up there before we start messing with the railing because uh, it's going to be very difficult to, to carry it up there once the railing is in place. Uh, uh, maybe in the next couple of days uh, I will get them to just lift that and bring it upstairs. So while everybody's working, I've been working this morning, I am moving this soil from here and I'm trying to do an opposite build up where it's higher on this side and slopes away from the house and get all this, all the soil is supposed to be lower at this point than this one, but it's the opposite. All the soil over here is supposed to be higher than this side, but it's the opposite. All the soil on this part of the house is supposed to be lower than this side, but it's the opposite. Uh, it's, I, I don't know what happened. I asked uh, the grader to do it and, and, and somehow it, it got done the opposite way but that's okay it's not a problem because this being lower it means that well, our paint is going to be at the correct level and we'll be able to cover up uh, the paint area appropriately uh, with our mulching and you won't see any uh, separation between uh, any of the mortar the wall mix and the and the and the soil or the mulch and everything like that and the paint so it will fill in good this area still needs attention this is what i'm working on uh, but I had to stop, and the reason I had to stop is because our Stone 2000 installer is here. I thought it was going to be a team. I thought, I, I, I thought well, maybe about three people. Uh, but this is my team of three people right here. This is my installer from Stone 2000, and he's going to start working this morning. And this is going to be really interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift our focus. We're going to shift our focus uh, from some of the kitchen install and we're going to shift over to his working on the stonework as well. So I'm going to get the GoPro charged up uh, so that we have a full capability with battery here and we'll watch some time lapse videography of some of the stonework. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, I, I know it's not going to be done in one day, uh, maybe two, maybe three, I don't really know. Um, so we'll, we'll get started now. So this is another reason for being on site when they're doing installation, even the, the uh, subcontractors that, that are coming in. We defined an area of space between the quartz here and this quartz up here of having 800, uh, 800 centimeters. Much. So I can make the call exactly where I want this island to be. So what we might do, we might sacrifice a little bit of this space out here to give us a little bit of this space right here. So what I asked them to do, I asked them to bring the quartz countertop in. We're going to set the quartz countertop on the island. We're going to position it at that point so we get the best feel because that's the live feel of what it's going to be. If you aren't here, if you're not there when they're doing it, they're going to put it in based upon somebody's drawings, uh, which is the uh, usually the, the subcontractor's drawing. And uh, then after it's all done in the place, it might not be where you want it. So uh, we're going to do that right now. Uh, they're going to bring it in and we will test it and see how it feels. The, the stonework is, is getting started. We are doing the, uh, the time-lapse videography on the wall, and I'm going to try to get the entire structure. I think that will look so cool to watch it while it's being installed. Uh, it is lunchtime now here at Villa Feliz. The workers are, are at lunch, and some of them are probably starting their siesta, and I don't know where, I hope we, we don't disturb them because we're going to do a little tour in the basement. And why are we going to do a tour? The reason we're going to do a tour, remember I said earlier this morning we had some guests coming here today, and our guests are here. Uh, and originally, originally I thought it was going to be two people, but uh, I kept one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine folks here that are visiting. And this is the whole, this is our whole family. And uh, actually, this is Mark and B and White, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves to them as much. So let's go. I'm Mark. I'm Henry. I'm Bea. 
I'm Mayet. I'm Mitos. I'm Sam. I'm Norman. Hi, I'm V. I'm Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 this this family is from the Bay Area. San Francisco Bay Area in the United in the United States. And uh, I, I've asked you several of the questions already, and uh, but we're going to we're going to ask some more questions here in just a minute because we're going to do a tour. But I, I will say that our our guests today, the, the wonderful guests over the last couple of days, uh, and our guests that we always have here are all wonderful. But the, the, the last couple of days we've had guests, and they are bearing gifts for us today. <laughs> <laughs> And if you look, <laughs> this is very from a very, from, a very familiar <laughs> logo right here. Yeah. And and they uh, and I want you to tell uh, you were telling us the story just a minute ago. They they went to Clyde's. Clyde's, of course, is my favorite ba bakery in Lipa and pretty much everywhere I've been inside the Philippines so far, which is kind of limited because we'll be doing a traveling later on. But. Tell me the story about when you went to Clyde's. And so we went to Clyde and Mark was looking for your favorite pastry, which is the eclair, chocolate yeah. eclair. And the, the sales lady said, oh, I know exactly which one James liked. And <laughs> took it out of the bag. <laughs> uh, so there is no anonymity around here. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, oh, and you, what is that you have? So this is for, for your, let's see, oh just a little seeds candy from California. Oh. This is our famous seeds candy. Oh, oh thank and you. <laughs> and that, that is unique to the, the California? Yeah, California is oh, our famous oh. chocolate. <laughs> and then we heard about your dog not having uh, shampoo. Flea, sh sh flea shampoo. So we got you some yeah. flea shampoo. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh. And because... We, Mark was checking out the handyman, sort of like our Home Depot. Uh, he said he'd get you a bag. With oh, all the stuff. salamis. Oh, everybody, everybody's very happy today. Uh, and the dogs are going to be very happy, yeah. so they won't be scratched. This is wonderful. As a matter of fact, we have to wash them because they're doing... We, I just washed them about a week ago, and we did the, I think we did the video on it, maybe a little over a week ago. But... Uh, with all the sanding, and what happens is, if you see, uh, uh, this is, yeah. the stuff just falls over, and Mary Ann just loves rolling in that stuff, and she is covered. Is that her name, Mary Ann? Ever, Mary Ann, yeah. But have you ever, you ever watched Peanuts, uh, um, Charlie Brown and Snoopy? Snoopy? And you know that one guy, I don't know his name, but he goes around and he's got this dust ball yeah. all and all? That's Mary Ann That's around Mary here. Ann. So, so anyway, this is awesome. This is wonderful. So let's, let's go ahead and do a tour. So that, they asked to have a little bit of a tour. Even though they see it on the videos every single day, they want to do the full tour. And we're going to do the full tour for the basement first floor and upstairs. And then we will be back and we'll talk to our guests a little bit more in detail like we normally do here at Ville Felice. So let's, let's go for a tour. Well, we are, we are done with the tour of the house and we did all three of the floors and we had uh, that lots of questions. And as, as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of good suggestions about the way things are done, doing comparisons between building in the Philippines and building in the United States. Uh, so anyway, uh, we, got, we have everybody here. Uh, well, not everybody. We, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we have part of the family right here. And uh, as you know, we, uh, when we're here, we always do kind of a mini interview, right? Okay. And, and, there, and I know you're prepared for some of the specific questions that we always ask. And I'm going to ask you the first one right off the bat, which everybody's always interested in, especially when there's a Filipino, uh, Filipina, oh. and a uh, foreigner uh, that's involved. It's how did you guys meet each other? Well, actually, I, I left the Philippines when I was six years old and have always lived in the United States. And then Mark and I actually met at the hospital where we both worked. Uh -huh. I used to be an x-ray technician, mm -hmm. and Mark lied in the emergency room. An emergency room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm teaching, and he's still at the emergency or the clinic. So that's how you, you, you met. And how many, how many years ago was that? Uh, we've been married for 23 years. 20, 23 years. Oh my goodness, 23 years. That's a long time. Wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. And um, oh, so your trip to the Philippines? Because I know you're only over here for a week, and you come over maybe about once a year. But you had a pretty expanded uh, before you visited. You said several years prior yeah. prior to that. And where is your family located at? Uh, I visited my mother's family uh, in uh, Kalumpit, Bulacan. And then part of the reason why we come is we also support an orphanage, and so we try to visit the orphanage, see what they need, and we try to see how we can support. And where where's the orphanage at? Uh, it's called Bethany Orphanage in uh, Tabe, uh, Bulacan. And you're, Iginto, Iginto. and you're talking about that right now that you're doing like a roof, the, the roof? Well, right now the current need is a big uh, fix the leaking roof. Fix the leaking roof, yeah, right? Yeah, so right. we're going to try to 
yeah. fundraise and figure out a way and coordinate with Norman, my cousin. Well, I gotta, I gotta tell you, there are so many generous people around the world, uh, and they're, they're out there. And when there's a need, people come together. It's like even, even with the vlog site right here, you see so the people that have, have supported the community right here. They sent like some gifts, some toys, things for the dogs, for the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> but for the community, for the community, for, for Christmas. Did you see our Christmas special that we had where I dressed up as Santa Claus? Oh, and yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 And you said you were going to make that a tradition. <laughs> we're going we're to make that a tradition every yeah. year here in the Barangay. And, uh, but uh, many of the gifts, uh, specifically one of our subscribers, who's been more than generous in the past, she'll make up a box. She'll set, set up something that looks like a Balak Bayan type of a box. Yeah. And she'll send things for the community. And she even puts, she, she has specific instructions on it. She's, she knows all the children of my PI Dream, the ones that, that, that come in every single day. She knows the names of the people in the community. And she has a list, she's detailed. You have to give this to this person, this to the, but the, the, the But the, when, when there's a need, I notice that the community has come together, especially in the Philippines. Because uh, of the, the generosity of the Filipino people. No government support for the orphanage or kids, so it's yeah. not private, uh, the church, or it doesn't get done. Yeah. So that's one of the big issues, is that is they have to get that support. Right. They have to. Well, bless you guys for doing that, for taking care. That's, that's, a, that's a wonderful thing that, that you've undertaken. And then, uh, one of my favorite things is that, you know, uh, I cannot do all the good the world needs, but the world needs all the good I can do. And so we try to keep that in mind. Uh, Not everybody can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. And so we are trying to sort of live by that to say, yeah. that's a good use of time. Yeah. <laughs> And, and I think that's a, that's a general the general feeling of most of the people here in the Philippines, yeah. uh, and that's one of the reasons why we're here, yeah. uh, because we, we we feel we feel all that positive energy, yeah. and, uh, and, and and we want to be more like yeah. that <laughs> as, as well. Now, oh, so, so what 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 do you do? What do you do? Uh, you look like you're you look like high school, college, college. I graduated high college already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Education. Edu 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 oh, yeah. you follow in the mom's footsteps. Yeah. Ah, that is wonderful. Uh, I got in nursing and now I'm in, uh, doing medicine. Uh, medicine. Uh, in the fa oh, all of the, you know, it's 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 uh, that's kind of traditional. If your father is a lawyer or your mother, or your family's in the law, you generally do that. If you're in the medicine, you do that stuff like that. Uh, that that's absolutely wonderful. That, that is great. Uh, good to hear. We have a doctor and a family. Ah, uh, yeah. Another teacher. Yeah. Another teacher. <laughs> so just so you know, every morning, so we have our cup of coffee, and then our dog sits, you know, on, takes turns on our lap, and then we we watch you on the. Oh. <laughs> so you're part of our Kona. Six a.m. Right. Mark will be like, look what James is working on today. <laughs> and you need so to tell everybody. You need to tell everyone, I did not pay you to say no. that, okay? All right, all right, I did not pay you. I have all these people, I have all these people that say these wonderful things, and it's like... Especially when the kids are on, they always want, look what the kids are doing, because he knows I'm in, you know, with this, he, loves, he knows I'm with this elementary kid. Uh, You're going to miss your walk, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I but love we, watching the kids. I know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, we're in such a capacity of building mode. You see what's going on today. Yeah, of course, yeah. It is. We have so much going on here with the stonework being done, with the kitchen work being done, with the finishing, the soffit material being done, the finishing material being done, and me also trying to do my things with the with the patio, uh, the posts and all things like that. There's just so much going on uh, that I don't have the time to do all the things. But once things slow back down again, my regular walk because it's only one kilometer into all the way to Michelle and Roy's place from from the front gate here. I was looking for their well, place we as we drove in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should do that. You should do that. When you go, I'm gonna stop at the sorry. Michelle, do you know me? Well, I think I do. She's 777. But you didn't do that. You didn't write. Do that, please. I will show you. I will show you before you leave. I will show you. Please do me a favor. Stop by there and say hello to the to our wonderful friends inside the community. They would they would love that. And I feel guilty that I haven't spent a lot of time lately. But we have been so so busy. The yeah. I don't. You probably know being a handyman. 
the, the, the extent, the, the maximum velocity when you're building a project is at the very end of the project. Mm -hmm. It's the finishing, yeah. which is where we're doing right now. I thought, I, I didn't know, I thought at the beginning doing all the, the, uh, the, the foundation and the columns and the beams and the steel, I thought that was going to be the hardest. This is the hardest where we're at right now, and it has to do with selection. Because remember, that's what you see. What they're doing right now is what your final uh, visual uh, visualization is going to be as you ride by the house and, and live inside the house as well. I wondered if people are going to uh, proposition you to be a project manager for oh, some they, of the other. They already have. I have. I have. Pay you for four hours, they, three times, they, they three have, days a week. But you know? yeah. but I'll be honest with you. I am when this is done. I, I really want to get it. I want to enjoy Villa yeah. Feliz. I want to enjoy the gardening yeah. and things like that. And so it's, it'll be time to rely. This has been one year. This, <clears throat> be honest with you, all, the jobs that I've had prior to this, and some of them were pretty stressful jobs, but this has been more, I have been more engaged on this job right here uh, than even my government jobs that I've had in the past and uh, the things that I've done. Uh, some of them were more stressful, but this is, it takes more of my time. And, and when you, when you take the building and the vlogging, you put the two together. It's easily a 14 to 18 hour day every single day wow. doing doing this right here. Uh, so I'm ready to relax. So yeah, I, uh, it's a it's a compliment. It's a compliment that you that you say stuff like that about uh, being project management and stuff like that. But I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to go into real retirement mode after this. Oh my god, we actually see the home that we've been watching every morning. <laughs> It's really real. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, I am going. We're going to sit around. We're going to talk some more off camera because we have so much going on in the background. And one of the things is the stonework. I want to make sure that we capture the entire wall going up. So we're going to put you into automatic uh, uh, video mode, and we're going to watch the stonework uh, be accomplished right before your eyes. Uh, but we're going to spend some more time with this wonderful family here. So, th but thank I have to thank you for coming to visit us here. Anyway, and the, and the treats, the wonderful treats that you gave us here. We're, we're definitely going to enjoy that over the next day or so. So we're going to we're going to get back to working uh, in the background and we're, you'll probably see us because the camera uh, will show a pretty big wide view of what's going on in the background. So uh, back to work. Well, it is after 5.30 here at Ville Fleas. You didn't catch me leaving here. I left, I went downtown. I went to Ace Hardware. I went to City Hardware. Uh, where else did I go? Um, there, was, there was some other place that I went to that escapes me right now. Uh, senior moment. So anyway, today, today I, I just want to do a quick capture of the things that got done today. And the reason I didn't do any detailing when I left, remember I left the video camera here I had it doing the time-lapse uh, videography of the wall that they're doing, the stone wall that's being uh, built right now. Uh, so I decided today to get away from the kitchen and go over to the stone wall because I thought it would be so cool to watch the stone wall going up and being constructed. Uh, well, anyway, uh, that was being done while I was gone. And then the battery died, of course, in the GoPro. I didn't have a strong enough battery inside there, and I didn't have anything to plug it in while I was gone. But while I was gone, the reason I left while this was recording is I went out and I picked up some pin lights. Uh, last night when I was standing here, and you see our lights that we have right here, the little lantern type lights that we have right here, uh, I noticed, and, and the new pin lights that are up in the, in the eaves up there, I'm like, oh, this whole side here, it looks wonderful, it looks marvelous. But this part of the house, which we haven't installed any of the lights on this section right here, which are gonna go up inside uh, the soffit material as well. Uh, this section right here, and this section here just seemed naked. 
And even though I have the, what would make it perfect, and I would tell you what would make it perfect, is the lamps. You know, I bought two more of these for the garage area. What would make it perfect would be to take it and put one uh, above these, uh, uh, the, the inside column and one on that inside column right there. Well, anyway, to do that, it would it would mean a lot of effort, a lot of work and effort, and and cutting into already finished material that we're pretty much done with, and cutting into the precast and and running wire, cutting into the uh, the the beam that's up there, and I got to thinking about that. I really don't want to cut. It's, it looks so good finished right now. Uh, ultimately, for the long life of the entire house, it would be the best thing to do. Uh, but I made the call today. And the call I made was to go pick up a couple of pin lights uh, that will illuminate these columns and that column over there. Now I had to determine what do I want. Uh, most of the pin lights on the inside of the house are 5.5 watt and they are the soft lights, you know, the 300 or 3000 K uh, for the uh, illumination. You know, you have the bright, which is like a sunlight and which is like 6000 K and then the 3000 is a soft light. Uh, everything on the outside of the house, everything, everything on the inside except for the kitchen will be, uh, will be soft lights. So these lights, the LED lights that are inside the lamps right here are 4 watts, which are the equivalent of 40 watts, uh, but th they disperse around and they go outward. So I thought to myself, if we put the 5.5, which we're using inside the house, we put the 5.5 here and it's shooting down and we're trying to set up for ambience. I'm thinking that the 5.5 might be a little bit too bright and overpowering of our, our lamps on the side. <clears throat> so what I did was I picked up two 3.5 watts today and we're gonna try this out. Nice thing about, they're smaller. For some reason, I don't like it. We can make the hole bigger and we can put it, put the bigger lights in the 5.5 watts inside. You can't reverse it. You can't make the hole smaller without removing soffit and doing it over again. So that's what we're going to do. I picked it up and I gave it to my, I gave it to my electrician about five minutes before uh, um, close down time, and he didn't have enough time to do it. So tomorrow morning he will put that one in and put the one over there as well. Uh, that's what uh, some of the stuff that was done out here. You see the soffit material. What they did get done today, they got soffit vent here, soffit vent here, soffit vent there, and there. And they got some of the soffit done where the CCTV is over here. Um, again, there was some finishing that was done today. Uh, I think there was some stuff done around the fence line, cleaning up around the fence line. And then on the inside of the house, let's take a look at some of the stuff that got done on the inside of the house. <clears throat> of course, you are aware and you've watched do the time lapse. Some of the stone wall here is being done. So this is part of the stone that was done and this right here. So when I was gone, uh, the couple hours that I was gone and, and the stone worker was putting this up, I thought there, were, I thought there was some uh, cl uh, clarification on how this was going to be done with the lights, the hidden LED lights in the back, but somehow there was some confusion. I don't know, um, it, it didn't get through and, and I, I probably can chalk it up to um, lost in translation, let's put, let's put it like that. So what the stone worker did, he took the stone work and he brought it around and he covered it even on this side right here, which this is supposed to be uh, the area where it's a nook just like this, all the way up, straight up, and it's gonna hide the LED lights. Um, but he ran the stone all the way around the corner and that was incorrect. So uh, it, not a big deal since I got back in time, the uh, adhesive, the stone adhesive was still wet, so you can see where we pulled off the stone there. And you have to go back, you can't make a correction and just stick a little piece on the end or it would not look right. So he's doing it the correct way and he will continue doing that the rest of the way up. So uh, they'll do replacement tiles for these pieces and then the rest of the way up should be fine. Uh, so that is what got accomplished on the stone wall today. I thought we were gonna have a team of like about three people, but it's only one person. So that's why it takes about three days for this to get done. Also, kitchen, kitchen cabinets. You can see how much we got done inside of here today. The main focus of attention was this cabinet work above the refrigerator, uh, the ref, and uh, the, we brought the island uh, quartz top in for estimation of where we wanna set it, set it in, uh, in the kitchen. Remember, we had measured everything off before, and actually our measurements were very, very close. From this corner right here, this corner countertop, that one is 800 centimeters. 
And I thought I was going to be too tight, but it, feel, it feels really good. It feels like it should be. And that's the kind of a thing you need to do. You need to have a feel when you have things installed inside your house. You need to do the walkthrough. You need to validate is that the way you want it. Because when they're doing the install is when they can make modifications. They can make changes to the install. Uh, this, this countertop, I think it's going to be great. Uh, we don't have a real big range that goes here, so I think we're going to have plenty of room. And we have a, and I had them extend this area. It doesn't normally go this far out. Of course, we're going to have cabinet uh, doors that go way out to here, but it's going to be the amount for you to be able to put your knees under here, and you're not going to be kicking the, the cabinets inside there. I think it's going to work just absolutely great. Uh, and, and you have... Uh, plenty. This is going to act just like a, a table, a regular eating table inside here. So I think that's going to work fine. Also today, we had some attention done to the stairs. Remember our worker that came from B Call that's been there over the uh, the past two, two and a half weeks, returned. I started doing some work on this area. Uh, and particularly the second step, uh, the second flight of stairs going up to the second floor. And finally, up on the second floor, you can see the, the finishing of the cabinet work for the breakfast neck over here. Uh, I was curious. Remember I asked the question about was the finish going to be glossy or is it going to be satin? And I spoke with the, the finisher today. I said, no, you know, not because remember when we looked at this earlier, this was like so shiny and glossy and crazy. And I said, it's not going to be glossy, is it? He said, no, it's not going to be glossy. He said, it's going to be flat. And so whatever they did on the preliminary stage, uh, they changed it to this right here. So uh, I don't want anything glossy in the house. So it, it, looks it looks really good. Now this finish right here looks just like a nice flat uh, finish or uh, satin, uh, maybe semi-gloss or something like that. And uh, these are the cabinet covers that are going to go on top of that as well. I don't know what stage they are in finishing the, the cabinet doors. Uh, but we're getting there. Well, anyway, it is the end of the day, and what a productive day we had here today. Um, there's, there's food cooking in the, I think in the sunroom where we have our microwave right now. I'm really hungry. I didn't have lunch today. I kind of skipped through it doing all the things, and the, uh, I, I just totally forgot about it. But my stomach has not forgotten about it right now, so I'm going to grab dinner here in just a minute. So, like I said, it was a productive day today. Uh, stairs, um, some stonework, kitchen work, and uh, soffit work. And let's not forget about that wonderful visit from Mark and B. Meadows who came by and their family, their entire family came. And what a wonderful time we had today. And thank you again for the gifts that you dropped off. Uh, I think we will might munch into those tonight. So, until tomorrow, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on the My PI Dream uh, little heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed, and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So, until tomorrow, you have a wonderful and blessed day.